Day 87. I've got blisters on blisters. My boots hurt already. Yay. I've only got like 65 miles to make over the next three or so days, so that's not too big of a deal as long as my feet hold out. <clears throat> Growing pains. Thought I was through those already, but evidently not. Beautiful morning other than the bugs. There's these tiny little gnat things that are eating me alive. So I took a bath in DEET this morning. I've been carrying it with me the whole time. I didn't want to use it. But, hell, I'd rather deal with whatever DEET poisoning there is than these little things eating me up. Little bastards. But other than them, man, it is a beautiful morning. Perfect temperature. Probably going to sweat my ass off today, but I'd rather sweat than freeze any day of the week. Food supply is getting a little low, so that means less weight on my back, man. So maybe I can push out some more miles today. I'd like to do 20-something to a, to a nice campsite that I see way up on a hill, but I got a lot of hills today. A lot of big hills. Go kick their butts. I've been checking the log books lately in the shelters. Most of them have some sort of book. You can write whatever you want. Back in the day before cell phones and all that, that's about the only means of communication. Nowadays, it's just something we do for fun. I normally don't write in the books. Normally, I won't even touch them. I assume those things are covered in Noro. But now that I'm actually kind of looking for people, it's a handy-dandy way to find them. Although, you know, I could technically use Facebook and all that, but that's, that's not as much fun. But it turns out Jelly Bean is about a week ahead of me. It was eight days the other day. I've made up a day on her already. She's taking a couple of days off to go visit her mom, so I should catch up with her soon, probably in the next couple of weeks. Malibu, she's six days ahead of me, so I'm on her trail. I have no idea where Roy and Flatline are. They keep saying I'm, I'm right on their heels, but they I haven't seen them writing a book in a while. Ooh. Why are you making your web right in the path? That's just rude. You know what's even more rude is I'm not going to break your web. I'm going to walk around you and let somebody else break your web. Because that was a really nice web. I can tell you spent a lot of time on it. Still looking for Apache. Haven't seen sign of him in forever. But from what I hear, he is still on the trail. And I broke one of my trekking poles. What a shame. Just the tip of it. On the tip of these things, there's a piece of carbide steel. And I'm not sure how I broke that off, but but I did. Well, I guess just wear and tear, you know, it has been 800 miles. So I'm going to call those guys up and see if they can have new ones waiting for me in Harper's Ferry. There are lifetime guarantees on this stuff, and I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to need it if I'm going to try to catch up to everybody. I mean, not try to catch up to everybody. I'm catching up to everybody. I don't care if my feet hurt. I'm a man on a mission. There's just one view after another up here. Ooh. <sighs> Closest thing to a sunrise uh, uh, ooh. I have seen in weeks. So many mountains in my way. Hope puts all these things here. Rarely can I look back and be certain of where I've walked, but I feel pretty badass. Okay, so yesterday I came across a big globe thingy, FAA tower turns out. It is on that mountain right about there. I walked from there all the way over that stuff, all the way up that, down across that river, and then all the way up to the freaking mountain I am since yesterday morning. You know, that makes me feel pretty badass. I mean, I walk around feeling pretty badass all the time anyway, but... But it's... I don't know, that's... I walked that far, no wonder my feet hurt. Jeebus! Wow. That's a long way. I never, never really thought I could do that kind of stuff. I mean, it's one thing to be like, oh yeah, I walked 20 miles today, but... It's another thing to look back way over there and be like, yep, I was up on that mountain. Actually, I was well beyond it because it took me hours to get to that thing. So, 
I was down, you know, down that downward slope and somewhere behind that where I can't even see. Wow, from this vantage point, I can't even see where I started yesterday. Flex. Today is a good day. I thought I was near the top of that mountain, but I was so wrong. It was still like an hour to the top. But when I got there, there was the best cell service I've had on the entire trail, towns included. I had full bars. So it was time to send all my obligatory texts and emails letting people know I'm still alive. Um, trying to coordinate with the other world right now. You know, I have friends meet me at the Devil's Backbone. I should be there on time. But my bestie Dennis says he wants to come hiking with me. So I sent him uh, information letting him know where I'm at and see if he can figure out where he wants to meet me. I gave him an AT guide before I left so, you know, he could find me if he needed to. But that'll be sweet. I'm going to put that guy through his paces. And this trail is the whitest thing in the world. Having a big black man with me, it'll be like having a unicorn, man. What? This trail is the whitest thing I've ever done by far. Weird enough, like a good 30% of us are redheads. Freaking gingers everywhere. And I wondered why. And then I looked around and realized there's, there's no sunlight here. So they can do this, because rumor has it, if you put gingers in direct sunlight, they explode. So I'm having to assume that's why so many do the AT. This is kind of safe for them. Yeah, he isn't just pollinating. He is aggressively pollinating, or she. My God, you are just into that, aren't you? Go get it. Do it. Do it. Don't let me slow you down. <laughs> you are into that top of the next big ass mountain and there's huge blocks up here huge cinder blocks or cement blocks weird configuration though two right next to each other three spread out no idea but views galore man it's been a rough morning lots of uphills Oh, my boots are killing me. Killing me. Downhills are so painful, and I've got like two miles downhill to go. So I'm wearing my camp shoes, which totally suck for walking, but they hurt less than the boots. So I'm going to get down to the bottom of this mountain and assess the situation. Throw some tape on. Maybe cut those boots up, man. Try to cut the whole tops of them off or something. I don't mind demolishing those things. I am replacing them very soon. It was a bad idea to buy boots. Oh, bad idea. I've never seen so many of these little fluffy white guys in the same area. They're tiny little things. They're alive, but they look like cotton when they fly. But they're all over the place up in here. They are actually quite adorable. They're just like little pieces of fluff with faces. Just never seen so many of them around. And they're littering the ground all over the place here. You know what that's all about. All these rocks tell me I have reached the 800 mile mark. Too damn easy. What? Walking 800 miles? Yeah, I do that every day. Ah, only maybe four miles to the next shelter. And I'm kind of excited about that one because that one has a swimming hole according to the book. Because yes, I, I read the book. Um, I heard from other hikers though that along the way this thing will follow the river and there will be some swimming holes and some good campsites. So if I find one of those, maybe I'll stop early. The shelter would put me at 20 miles for the day, which is more than enough for me right now. Until these stupid boots get broken or I get broken or I don't know what needs to happen. But if I do 20 every day, I'll definitely make my goal on time. According to the weather, that was supposed to rain 80% chance tomorrow, 100% the day after that. So, I don't know, that might slow my roll a little bit. Rain doesn't really stop you, it just slows you down a little bit. But hey, as long as it's not torrential and it's, you know, nice little downpours, it'll be cooling. This time of year, I think rainstorms might be mildly welcomed. But I thought that the other day and that one came down and it just kicked my butt all over the place. But that was a lot of rain. That was like two or three inches in an hour and a half. 
The trail turned into mud, well, little rivers. And, uh, you know, it doesn't help that I was at the peak of some mountains. But, yeah, it got pretty rough. But really, even when it got rough, it wasn't all that bad. I've been through worse rainstorms just because I don't deal well with cold. <sighs> Time to look for a camp spot. I'm tired. I'm walking next to a huge body of water. That's all water down there. But the trail isn't getting any closer to it. And I really want to soak my feet in that thing. I haven't come across any water. You know, I was told there was campsites along a stream. I have not seen stream yet. I still have, I don't know, two miles to go or so before the shelter with a swimming hole. But if I could find a cool campsite with a stream, I'd much rather have that. Or if I could get down to that water down there. Ho, ho, ho. I bet it's so cool and refreshing. When I put my feet in, I bet they make a noise because they are throbbing. All right, the new most annoying bug on the trail. They've been messing with a lot of us for the past few days. They're like gnats, but a little bit larger. And they aim for your eyeballs. And they just kamikaze you, and I've got one stuck in there. Ah, little bastards. But why would they do that to themselves? They throw themselves right in the eye. Yeah, it annoys me, but it kills you. That's just plain dumb. At least they don't hurt or anything, but, you know, I can feel a freaking bug in my eye. It's just annoying. I don't know it's worse. Those are mosquitoes. Or those little biting things this morning. Oh, toss up. Kind of hate them all. But right now I'm hating the one that's stuck in my eye the most. Maybe it'll change when I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. And then they'll be my new thing, favorite thing to hate. But right now, the guy's stuck in there. Can't even tear him out. These guys are just being jerks. There's a perfect spot down there. Swimming hole, everything nice and flat. But there's a big yellow sign down there, actually a little yellow sign. Right there. It says no camping here. Oh, why do they gotta put that where all the good camp spots are? It's just rude. That's right, I got no shame. I'm taking a bath in the water source. It's day four out here. I still have two tortillas left. There's no way Wildflower would let that happen. She eats all my tortillas day one every time. Sometimes some will last day two. But yeah, day four and I still have some. Tomorrow's going to be kind of a rough day. I'm here at Brown Mountain. This is the cross section of the mountain. I'm going up 3,000 feet, doing a buttload of puds, and then down another 3,000 feet. That's 23 miles that I got to cover. I'm actually thinking of stopping at a campsite around here so I can wake up early and catch the sunrise in hopes. I haven't seen a good sunrise in a while, so this seems like my best bet. Looks like fun.